Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 19th of February, Holy Mother the Church calls us to the memory of Saint Conrad. Saint Conrad of Piazenza. Saint Conrad of Piazenza is one of the primary member of the family of Piazenza. Saint Conrad married young and embarked on a military career, was passionately fond of the chase. And when one day his quarry escaped into a thicket, he ordered it to be set on fire. But a sudden strong wind caused the flames to spread quickly over all the nearby fields and forests and caused widespread damage. For this, a poor woodcutter who happened to be found in neighborhood was blamed, tried and condemned to death on circumstantial evidence. Upon hearing of this turn of events, St. Conrad came forward, acknowledged his own guilt, promising to make amends as far as lay in his power by selling all his possessions. He and his wife then took up the religious life. She became a poor clear. He joined the third order of St. Francis and lived thereafter as a hermit in solitary cave near Noto in Sicily. Each Friday for next 30 years, he visited the celebrated crucifix at Noto, there he was found dead on his knees on 19th February 1351. St. Conrad, whose mortal remains were laid to rest in the church of St. Nicholas in Noto, is invoked in the cases of hernia. Dear brothers and sisters, a beautiful story of St. Conrad. Someone who was married, who was living a normal life and who was uh, fond of hunting. And in his whole action of hunting one day, he set fire to the whole village, to the whole place. For which some other person, a poor woodcutter, was blamed. Here, St. Conrad could have escaped, washed his hands as Pilate did. But he did not wash his hands. He took the blame, acknowledged his wrongdoing and then became uh, religious, he and his wife and now a saint. One word, acknowledge your mistakes and you will become a saint. If you escape your mistakes, hide your mistakes under the carpet, you may save your skin for that moment. You may save your skin from being blamed. You, you may save your dignity, your name, but you will not become a saint. If you want to become a saint, acknowledge your mistake, turn back to God. See that no one suffers on account of you and you will be a saint one day. Amen.